फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माई एस सी एम हेल्प डॉट इन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक अबाउट दी ए सी पी एस फोर हाना में एम आर पी एप्स द फर्स्ट एप वी विल बी लुक इज द डिस्प्ले एम आर पी मास्टर डेटा इशू ओके सो दिस एप जनरली हेल्प एस टू आइडेंटिफाई दी मास्टर डेटा इशूज विच आर पार्ट ऑफ दी एम आर पी लाइव रन ओके तो before we go into the app uh, i just want to tell you uh, we do have a playlist which is called as mrp live in this channel uh, you can go there and there are already six videos that we have done in multiple subjects like classic mrp versus mrp live architecture the usage of low level code there's a demo for mrp live demo and also uh, material exemptions how do we for see that so this will be helpful please uh, if you are coming to this channel for the first time you can also look at this mrp live related videos okay so this is a look and feel of the app so we can see here we have the display mrp master data issues and these are all the filters or the selection conditions and then this is the output of them okay so first we will see this uh, theoretically and then we will look at the demo portion of this mrp master data issue okay so a small intro about this app actually uh, as we discussed this app helps to identify the issues related to the master data very specific to master data only it does and uh, uh, you know whatever has been captured as part of it it will try to show that in the output okay uh, it displays all the restrictions okay so restrictions part they tell is all the issues uh, which is part of the mrp uh, live run and it also has a future like if you are a planner uh, you, if you if you have identified issues then either you can accept it and revoke it like that okay so that kind of functionality has been provided accept revoke function is also provided here and very importantly uh, if there is any issue which has been identified uh, it has to get fixed the the objective of this is we have to identify the issue and get that in fixed uh, if we just to put it as accept and if the issue is not fixed even after the next mrp live run you will still feel the you will still see the issues there okay uh, one more feature of this is uh, you can uh, download the uh, app In, I mean, sorry. You can download the output as an Excel once this is completed. Okay. Uh, what are all the key features? Okay. So this this is a uh, very efficient tool that we have to utilize it periodically review after the MRP run. Like in case if you are running daily MRP run, then the next day morning we should have to identify, go there, use this, and to look for the issues. Okay. Uh, it has a comprehensive issue list. So which means, uh, you know. Uh, it has a way to filter it uh, based on uh, the area of responsibility and there are few filter options that is available like plant mrp controller material type of issue all those things so and also uh, you know the issue list is very comprehensive like it tells you whether it's a master data issue or uh, it's for information like that so that's also filters that you can apply it as yes, we discussed there are some filters okay uh, so the the filters can help you to uh, restrict whether you want to run it for one plant one mrp control except okay and uh, there is also way to accept the issues and filter them based on that or you, we can uh, revoke the acceptance whatever we did it okay the navigation uh, is completely integrated and seamless so it gives you a very uh, smooth uh, navigation inside the application okay uh, it has a in detail in depth information about the applications okay so we will uh, look about the uh, demo next we are seeing the demo for the display mrp master data issue so if you see here uh, there is a search button so these are all called as filters in case if anybody is not aware of it so these are all called as a filters so i can go here i can add everything here uh, for an example 
we add everything so everything will be displayed here okay but uh, let's say i don't want so many filters uh, so i can remove it so here also we can see uh, which are all visible and visible and active okay or we want to see all the mandatory uh, fields like this so now i put it everything i take everything outside uh, only i put it i have not taken the plant also okay so i just give this one now if i if i click go system is going to use the filters and come so we can go here use the mrp controller filters here this is a categories okay so what type of issues that you wanted to sort it out you can see here now whether it's the information like this etc we will be able to see them and whether you are able to accept it the, the changes whether if you are talking about the acceptance management right whether acceptance or not accepted that can be seen here um, so this is about the filters so this gives you the details like if you wanted to see here show details then system will go. gives you the plant mrp controller accepted not accepted date time created what category etc if i can if not required i can hide the details also and the other other way that is like we can use this and go inside also it gives a lot of information related to that okay now if i if there is any error if i want to accept it i can put it as accept so once i click accept uh, when we go to the details uh, you will be able to see whether we have accepted or not you can see it's yes but the same thing i can also revoke acceptance so now it's revoked so acceptance is no so this is this helps a planner to identify it okay what are the things that i have accepted and what pending activities i need to do etc okay so you can see the navigation is very clear and then if you want you can even export a spreadsheet also thank you for watching this video guys so uh, yes i always say uh, my objective is learning by sharing so uh, feel free to leave a comment in case if there are some areas that we need to focus and if you have any queries feel free to leave a comment uh, surely i will connect back with you in the same channel okay thank you very much